Hello, YouTube. Long time no see. This is Cooper Reed Customs with a naval battle today. A Napoleonic naval battle from some time in between 1799 and 1805. Uh, as you can see, I've got some classic Lego pirate ships here. The uh, Pirates of Barracuda Bay, I converted it into a ship. This is the Imperial flagship, and this is the Caribbean Clipper from 1989, and they are all duking it out on the high seas. Now it's not finished yet, this is a work in progress video, so I'll just show you some of the finer details that I've implemented um, and explain to you what my ideas are for the future layout. So we'll start with the French ship, um, which I have named the Argus, after the Greek giant with all of the eyes. Um, we've got a bunch of sailors running about climbing the ropes up to the parapets. Uh, we have some French Marines firing their muskets across the way at the British sailors. Uh, we have our doctor taking care of a wounded seaman. Some more action, men running across, going up the steps. Here we have the deck, the bridge, uh, French flag waving in the wind. Our captain is scowling at the action he sees before him. Uh, the plume inside of his hat is actually made out of a pipe cleaner that I cut down to size, and the hat itself is a printed item from Brick Guild Toys. But as you can see, the French ship is firing its cannons, and as is the English ship, which I have named the HMS Steady, after the Heart of Oak anthem of the Royal Navy. Steady, boys, steady. So yeah. That's just why, why I named it that. Um, but I used cotton from, I believe, multiple different pill bottles to uh, use as smoke. So the guns are firing and um, there would be lots of smoke coming from the powder and things like that. So I, I wanted to create the impression of, of firing. But moving over to the HMS Steady, it is quite crowded because we have not one, but two separate boarding parties of French sailors. Now you can distinguish the French from the English in my version because the French have medium blue jackets and red caps or black top hats, and the English usually have white or dark blue um, uniforms. And sometimes they have blue striped shirts, but uh, that's, that's the exception to the rule. But uh, yeah, we have quite a lot of action going on on board the ship here. So this is a small detail of French Navy um, sailors who have gone on a lifeboat from their ship, the Argus, to the HMS Steady and have begun climbing on ropes to board the ship. And he's just taken out uh, one of the English sailors, one of the tars, and everyone is caught by surprise, so they're rushing to stop the attack before it can begin and really wreak some havoc on their on their men. Um, but we also have a boarding detail over here. As you can see, they've put a grappling hook onto the HMS Steady and some men have already climbed up. There's quite a melee ensuing on board. Um, you see a dead Royal Marine in the background there. You see some dead Frenchmen. This man is getting his arm chopped by a hatchet by a British sailor who is also about to meet his demise by a dual-wielding French sailor next to him. Um, it's a little hard to get a good angle because the sails are so big on these ships, but I'll just circle around a bit and zoom in for you. So here we have the very famous um, Pirates of Barracuda Bay, Tatuga, <laughs> which I've converted into an English seaman. Um, he's having a sword fight with a French sailor there. Oh, we do also have some French sailors up in the, um, what do you call it, the crow's nest, sort of, observing the battle and men climbing up. But yes, back to the action on the steady. Um, this unfortunate French sailor is having a sword fight with three English sailors, one of whom is about to impale him with a spear <laughs> not looking good for him. 
Uh, meanwhile, this French sailor is being stabbed in the back while simultaneously about to be smashed over the head with a bottle. The English play rough. Um, so we have a few corpses down there. We have the first mate engaged in a sword fight with a French sailor, and we have someone else coming up to assist him. And over here we have one of my favorite soldiers, I mean sailors, <laughs> big difference. Uh, I use a rubber band to strap two different pistols to his chest and back, and I also gave him a grenade. Yes, a grenade. Basically a small cannonball with gunpowder and a fuse that could be thrown onto the decks of enemy ships and uh, cause an explosion, which you can see here I did using cotton balls. So there's a few bodies laying around that have been uh, either concussed or killed by the explosion. Um, and then we also have the bridge of the HMS Steady. And here is my figure of Horatio Nelson. I'll zoom in on him a little bit. So you can see he's missing his right arm. And I gave him a some white hair that I got from the Brickmania chess set, which was an awesome set, but my God was it expensive. Um, dying French sailor, dead French sailor, and a French sailor trying to climb the ladder to the bridge. So our Royal Marine captain right here with, uh, again, another custom pipe cleaner plume that I made for his hat, is rushing into action, pistol in hand, ready to stop the French invader from attacking Lord Horatio Nelson, or I guess Viscount Horatio Nelson. I don't know what rank he is at this point in time because I haven't decided on what year this is, but uh, you know what I mean. So we also have the Citizen Brick Amish hat that I'm using as a straw boater for this particular sailor who is loading his musketoon. That's right, it's a musketoon, not a musket. A musketoon uh, was basically a shotgun, so that's, that explains the, uh, the frayed end. Um, I usually use the brick arms muskets for my Royal Marines, like so, and also all of my other troops. But the musketoons I made an exception for because they are naval and can be explained uh, why I'll be using blunderbuss type weapons in this. So I'll also show you the English boarding party. Yes, there is a lot of boarding parties going on here. Very unlikely in a real battle, but I thought it'd be fun to include in this. So we have a boat full of troops here. I'll circle around so you can see their fronts. Uh, we have a dead French sailor who has landed in the boat. We have, I apologize for the quality keeps shifting. I'm trying to zoom in on certain details. We have these men with pistols in hand firing upon the French. Um, and we have French trying to board actually the English ships. This poor fellow got shot by this guy and he's about to get the end of that sword, I believe. Um, so the French are rushing into action to try and stop the English led by this young midshipman right here, with cutlass in hand, um, trying to stop them from boarding their ship, which is in turn boarding this ship, which is in turn being boarded by this ship. It is a little complicated, isn't it? But yeah, that's the naval battle I've been working on. It still has a lot of work to do. Um, I'm gonna buy some more blue plates, probably about five more, so one, two, three, four, five. And then I also have um, the Fortress El Dorado, which I'm going to build and use it as like a sea fortress over here. Um, this is just work in progress figures and the like. But yeah, Fortress El Dorado here to provide some artillery support on the HMS Steady. I'll have it crewed by French soldiers. Um, some more water around the area. And then I want to eventually start a huge land battle on this side using green plates. I'll have cavalry charges, artillery duels, large columns of infantry, you name it, they'll be fighting on these plates. But I wanted to start with a naval battle because I just recently acquired these three beautiful ships, um, and I wanted to show you guys what I've been up to the past couple days. So hopefully you enjoyed looking at my giant battle um, as much as I've enjoyed putting it together. And maybe I'll keep you updated if you guys like this video 
on my future additions to the battle scene, any improvements I make, any figures I add, um, basically anything that I, I'm proud of that I want to show you. And uh, yeah, give this video some love and we'll see what happens. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Appreciate it.